Hi, this is Emily Lee, part of Art from the Heart, and I'm delighted to be back with another Winnie and Walter video. I'm one of Winnie and Walter's guest designers for their third birthday bash. To celebrate, they have 10 month-long challenges and a grand prize giveaway. I'll have a link to that on my blog, so be sure to stop by and check it out. As always, the link to the corresponding blog post for this video is down below. In this video, I'll be making a set of four cards using a whole bunch of products from the most recent release as well as products from the previous release. The first set is Seasons Tweetings by Evelyn T. Designs. I just love all those cute little penguins. They're adorable and funny and you can't get much better than that. Since I'm making winter cards that aren't holiday cards, I'll be pairing these critters with the framed stamp set also by Evelyn T. This is probably one of the most versatile sets out there because they can be used in so many ways. I'm going to use them as backgrounds to anchor the critters and I'm also going to stamp the corresponding sentiments in the frames. Next up are a series of sentiment stamp sets. I love the combination of clean and scripted fonts in all of these sets. These are the Sentimental Winter, Sentimental Love, and Sentimental Endearment stamp sets. Winter is primarily for the holidays, but there are a few sentiments in there that can be used on other types of winter cards. The Love set is primarily for Valentine's Day, but you can definitely use most of them for general love cards throughout the year. I've always wanted a sentiment that says, we love you, but don't worry, there's always the very common, I love you, as well. The Endearments mini stamp set is probably my favorite because it has a second version of the word favorite spelled the Canadian way. I'll also be using the carry letters cutaways. I'll be using these to dry emboss an alpha pattern into the background panel. I start by stamping all of the frames on watercolor cardstock using VersaFine Smoky Grey. Since I'm using the frames as a background, I don't want them to compete with the images themselves, which will be stamped with onyx black. On the third piece of watercolor cardstock, I stamped the scalloped banner in grey and the rest of the images in black. I decided to stamp the trees even though I didn't use them in the end. I always use the magic embossing bag on the cardstock before stamping to keep stray specks at a minimum. This doesn't matter as much when I'm using clear embossing powder like I did here, but it's more important when using coloured or dark embossing powders. After heat setting, I start by watercoloring the foliage. Much like the trees, I'm not sure yet if these will get used, but it's easier to stamp and color them and have them ready than to realize that you need them at the end. I color these with twisted citron and crushed olive. Since I don't end up using the trees on my card, I've cut the coloring process out of my video. I did use the same two greens as on the foliage. Next, I color the penguins. I use black soot for their black heads and flippers and pumice stone to shade their bellies. Then I use hickory smoke to shade in all the fuzzy parts of the hats. I use wild honey to color in the penguins beaks and the snowman's carrot nose. I forgot to use black soot to color in the snowman's button, so I just dipped the brush directly onto the ink pad. Now I can get to the brighter colors. Between the critters and the frames, I want each card to have a mix of all these colors. On the striped scarf, I use ripe persimmon, festive berries, and worn lipstick. On the patterned hat, I use wild honey, evergreen bough, peacock feathers, and ripe persimmon. On the headgear for the group of penguins, I use evergreen bough, festive berries, ripe persimmon, and wild honey. When the colouring is done and the panels have dried, I cut apart the images and die cut them. I have left the ink swatches on the craft sheet so I can add washes to the frames, but it's also there for areas I've forgotten to colour, like the brim of a hat. I die cut the frames and then choose which critters will complement each frame. I keep wanting to put the flag in a penguin's hand, so clearly I wanted to use it, but in the end I don't. I'll find another way to use it on a future card because I really love it. After color washing the matched up frames, I speed up the drying process with my heat tool and prepare to choose sentiments. 
For the snowman, I'm using the sentiment, you are my favorite. For the scalloped banner, I'm using the sentiment, you mean the world to me. For the beveled frame, I use the sentiment, lots of love, XOXO. For the wooden frame, I use the sentiment, sending you hugs and kisses. Now I'm going to use the carry letters to dry emboss an alpha pattern into the background panels. I open the first tab of my cutting platform and place the cutting pad on it. Then I place an embossing pad on that and put the panel down with the die on top of it. Then I cover it with the top plate and run it through. I end up with this really cool embossed panel for the watercolored images. I adhere all the panels flat to the card bases. Then I use glue dots to adhere the critters to the frames and add foam tape to the backs of the frames then pop them onto the dry embossed panels. For final embellishments, I add some sparkling clear sequins to each card. Now my cards are done. Please refer to the supply links below if you're interested in any of the products I used in this video. You can also visit my blog for stills and more information about my work. Thanks so much for watching!